Hey folks, Jeremy here from Adreno, and today we are comparing some of our brand new fins, the Adreno Tuna Plastic Freediving Fin and the Adreno Carbon, the, uh, the Tuna Carbon. Some people, when they're getting started in their freediving and spearfishing, get a bit confused as to what is the right type of fin to, uh, to get um, and add to your kit. So first of all, we've got the uh, Tuna, plastic freediving fin, fantastic modular fin that allows you to get started straight away. You don't need any special skills. You don't need to worry about it. This thing is tough. This thing will do the job for you and a lot of people get started here and stay here. There is no poor choice buying yourself a good quality plastic fin when you get started. They may not be as responsive as carbon, so they don't have that sort of super uh, light flick that pushes you through the water but they are powerful, they are good quality. You can chuck them up on the shore, chuck them up on the rocks, chuck them into the boat, and you don't have to worry about them. These things are gonna be great. Um, you will notice a massive difference. If you have started your free diving and you're spear fishing, let's say a scuba fin, a snorkeling fin, the difference getting onto something like this is dramatic. You will go from feeling comfortable for half an hour, an hour, to feeling like you can spend hours in the water simply by changing to a good quality plastic fin like the Adreno Tuna Plastic Freediving Fin. The great thing about it as well is it comes with a good quality rubber foot pocket, it comes with our Adreno foot pocket. That po uh, pocket being modular means we can, uh, you can upgrade to the carbon later and still use that same lovely foot pocket that you've been wearing for the past few months or years. So the foot pocket and fixing kit can be unscrewed and then applied directly to our carbon fin. So if you're getting started, this is a ripper choice. Definitely consider this uh, as part of your, your kit. Uh, and if you are then thinking, you know what, blow it, I wanna go all the way, you can do that from the start. Or if you're looking for a good quality carbon fin, that's where these come in. So the Adreno Tuna Carbon, beautiful lightweight carbon fin. Now, some people are asking what is the difference with going to plastic and carbon. Instantly, we are talking about how light it is, super light and super uh, responsive. So carbon is such an ideal, um, an ideal material for sports or activities that require responsiveness, a return to you of the energy you've put into it. So the plastic doesn't do that, okay? So it works, it's tough, flicks back, the carbon can be pretty much rolled out. I mean, this stuff's incredible. The way that rolls and then snaps right back, okay? So the good thing about the carbon is you actually, in each kick, if you get it right, so you're doing a shorter flutter kick, it actually uh, will respond and almost be like two kicks in one. And this light tip at the end here, it's only 0.5 mils, it helps flick and push you through the water, returning to you the energy you put into the fin. The difference between going, say we talked about from a you know, scuba or a snorkeling fin to a plastic fin, then to a carbon fin, we are talking about hours that you will be comfortable in the water. We're talking about when you get the technique right, the efficiency that you can get. So your time and your breath hold and your energy is a premium when you're diving. When you're holding your breath and you want to get down to the bottom and relax, maybe in a spear fishing context or when you are free diving and you need to get as deep as possible, those, we're talking about seconds. Uh, this is going to give you an edge. So this is going to give you more time in the water, more efficiency, less cramping. It's a tool. It's not just, I need some fins for momentum. This is actually increasing your dive time. And if you're spear fishing, this is increasing your hunting time. As those fish are coming closer to you, maybe you're waiting for that job fish to come in and you just need those few more seconds. This is gonna give that to you. It will increase your dive time, which is, a, which is a, what more can you ask for? So while a carbon fin is a significant investment, it's also improving uh, your whole dive experience, the length of time you can stay in the water, uh, and that looks it. So definitely consider that. They're designed in a way to go into our foot pockets here, which I mentioned. You can start with the plastic blade, you can upgrade to the carbon and reuse uh, with these foot pockets later. So 
I guess the key features and benefits here are all about efficiency. More so than, you know, yes, there's some durability um, uh, in the plastic, but carbon is super tough. You're doing the wrong thing if you're snapping or breaking your carbon fins. We're talking about efficiency, dive time, return of energy, plus overall feeling comfortable in the water. So hopefully that answers a few questions for you as to whether you should pick a plastic tuna freediving fin or a Carbon Tuna Pro freediving free fin and uh, come into one of our stores or shop online to pick yourself up. Just some of the best fins on the market.